Hey boat lovers, we're on a 61 for Garlington and this one is pressed for time. He needs to be in the islands tomorrow, so we expedited his side mount control heads from ZF Marine in order for us to get this boat done. insane today look at those skies bro all right guys what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the old side mount zf control pods okay for the new ones the old ones have skewed and are slightly in reverse so neutral is no longer neutral neutral is almost reverse and sometimes the boat when it starts up it automatically shifts into reverse and we actually have to manipulate in order for it to stop. So in order to correct this issue, we've ordered new side mounts and a new touch pad that we're gonna be removing and installing. All right guys, so this is the old touch pad inside the helm. There are the control heads right there in which we're gonna remove and just replace them. All right, so my dad is gonna be working on getting the side mount control head out. The cool thing about this is that the thrusters are inside the actual handles. So we gotta be careful when removing them and not mess it up or like screw up the wire. If not, that's a whole other mission. Just like that, he's got them out. And just for your, your information, these are custom shafts. Someone drilled the shaft out in the center in order for us to pass the wire, but the new system does not come with drilled shafts. So we're gonna end up manipulating the, the side mount covers with a little tiny hole so that these wires can go on the outside portion and connect to the inside. The touch pad is out. the units out so we replaced the covers well this is the, we didn't replace well, well we, we are going to. out and we're gonna end up putting the new ones back on look how nice and shiny this one is compared to uh yeah. that one it's like me and you no you know what i mean you and me no no this is me and that that, that that's you no this is crust on it so yeah you, you got you got crust all over there you know okay i'm in the little hatch now and now I'm gonna be installing the starboard side mount actuator inside. I already removed the old one, which right there. So now I just need to get in that little hole and then just put it in. Julian said he wanted to do some work today. So he actually helped me remove the old ones, which are here. You see it has the drilled shafts on these and we've actually installed the new ones. So now we're gonna replace the touch pad with a new one, which is right here. So once we get everything installed and mounted, then we're gonna go ahead and work on the side mount thruster buttons for the handles. Yeah, we got Julian laying on the job again. So no, he's just inside there cleaning up, making sure that all the wires and everything are done. And uh, no, he's not. He's just looking on his phone. Guys, so we got the new plates mounted and the new control heads also installed. I went inside there, I tie wrapped everything nice and neat. You sure about that? The new touch pad is in. And just like normal, we are on pace. things out. So the yeah. only thing that we need to do is drill a little hole on both sides of this plate so that our thruster cables could actually go inside here, connect to the thrusters, and the customer will have thruster capability. Just look how beautiful Miami is. Just honestly beautiful. And then you have that. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous day, right, Dad? The, the thing fell in the water.
It's all down there, though. Guys, if this piece would have fell in the water, it would have been game over. This is a two-piece system, and for this particular boat, or these handles, they line up. They just don't sell this piece. So, it would have messed up my day. And now my dad is drilling the little section. This is for the thruster. Yeah, the thruster. The thruster wire. Handle's gonna go like this. The wires are gonna go inside here. And we're gonna connect that on the inside. And this has a little pocket in here so when the handles move, it's not actually pulling on the wires. He wasn't happy with the little prank I pulled on him earlier, but now we got the starboard side in and he's working on the port side right now. It goes pretty smooth. I just find it so satisfying, those clicks. Those. All right. This is the thruster cables. So the buttons that are on the side mount control handles, there's two wires and we splice them into the existing harness of the boat. So there's two for the port and two for the starboard. So once the cables are through, we butt splice them there, determine that everything is working, and then we heat trade. All right, so we got my dad doing the starboard side. That was already done. And we were working on the port side. Now that's in as uh, well. Uh, no. This is port. No. Yeah, it is. No. It's port, to your left, starboard, to your right. Okay, so my dad was working on the starboard <laughs> side. Port to your left. That's what I said. You said the I said starboard. I mean port. <laughs> <laughs> okay, port side's done. Now starboard side is also done. All right, you guys. We're on the home stretch. We got the touchpad in place. We got the handles in place. Port and starboard. We move the port. And you can actually see the boat move, the starboard thruster. Now the boat is moving to the starboard. So these are thruster buttons here. And we have function with the new handles on both port and starboard side. All right guys, as you can see, I did all the work and that's it for this video. So no, he was just there pointing his fingers as usual. But overall though, it was a great install. Everything went out smoothly. And if you guys can, just leave some things in the comments like how we can improve the videos and stuff. Overall, just like and subscribe though. See you guys.